Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the TNT Run Reloaded plugin. This plugin allows you to create arenas for the minigame called TNT Run. It's automatic and has multiple arenas, kits, stats, shops, and a bunch more. It's loaded with features and you can find all of them in the Spigot page, link in the description. To install the plugin, just head over to the plugin section, go to the Spigot tab and type in TNT run as one word. And it's this one with the oscillate picture. You'll also need world edit to set up the arenas, which I already have installed as you can see here. This plugin works well without even changing the config, but I'll quickly go through some of it. The only files you really would want to change is the config.yml and the shop.yml files. Config bars, config title, messages, you don't really need to touch unless you want custom messages. Stats and signs and kits you shouldn't really touch either. So let's just open the config file and go through it. So fancy block break just makes a sand breaking sound. You can enable and disable the boss bar as well and the titles and the scoreboard. You can customize the win message and have fireworks set off when you win as well. The broadcast win levels go like this. So if you put two, it's the whole server that gets the broadcast message. One is only the players in the arena and zero, there won't be any broadcast message at all. You can have custom sounds if you want. The item section is what's in your hotbar when you're waiting for the round to start. You can change the scoreboards too. You can change the signs and shops as well if you wanted. And if you want to read the explained version with the comments, it's on the speaker page. Now, the shop file basically contains all the items you could buy if you have an economy plugin. For this tutorial, I'm not going to go through this, but it's pretty self-explanatory and more info can be found in the speaker page, as well as all the commands for this plugin. Okay, so I've set up a little arena here and to make sure the plugin reads the arena, we have to do slash tr setup and then we have to type create and then we have to type in the name of the arena. So I'll do test and that will create the arena. Now what we have to do is use world edit to define the arena and I'm going to select the top right corner and then actually I'm going to do this. I'm going to select this bottom corner and then this corner right here and then we'll do tr setup set arena and then we'll do test and now we'll set the arena up here and now we have to select the lose floor so the most bottom part of the arena which I'll select this block and I'll go over to the side here and select this block and do slash tr setup and then set lose level and then set it for the test arena okay so now what we have to do is set the spawn so we have to select a spawn point for the players to spawn in the arena and then select a spawn point or create a spawn point for the spectators so we do slash tr setup set spawn at test and then we'll do a spectator one here set spectate and that test right here so that's done now we have to create the lobby and we'll do slash tr setup lobby uh wait um sorry it was set lobby and that's it and we can do slash tr setup finish to finish setting up the test arena and we have to obviously type in test as well because we finished with the test arena now i'll show you how to create a little sign for them so if we grab a sign right here we type in brackets uh, tnt run like so next line and then brackets join and then the arena name on the next line just like that and then it will create a sign for you and if we join here it'll change our game mode it'll show you the title tag the boss bar and the scoreboard here and we've got all the items in the hot bar as well so yeah and as you can see it displays everything 
correctly and all of these we can't buy these because we don't have an economy plugin but if you did you could buy it and yeah now i'm basically going to join around and play the game and you can see that the game works the sand falls down and once you get to the bottom layer you lose and as you can see everything works correctly Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and this tutorial helped. If you do have any more questions, please contact our support team and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.